I really don't know about this segment. Your worst fears coming true. The scariest haunted house in the United States is offering $20,000 to anyone who could finish. Anyone can get through the haunted house, they give you 20 grand. Now, to go in, you need a doctor's note, you need a safe word, of course, and you need to sign a 40-page waiver. The psychotherapist, Dr. Robbie Ludwig, is here, of course, again, to add some analysis on this. And you it's brought so me in hard. for psychological torture. This is crazy. It's so hard to get through that they give you 20 grand. Now, yeah. somebody tells me that there's some sort of hypnosis involved where they hypnotize you to make you even more scared. I don't even know that much about it. You but know, it's possible. I'm just wondering legally how they can get away with this because I could just see so many lawsuits happening as a result. It wouldn't seem worth it. Hmm. But it was really interesting when looking at this video because... What they are inducing is a form of psychological torture, uh -oh. but for fun. So I imagine whoever is going into this haunted house. So what goes on in this guy's head? What, the, what is that, what are people, what's actually happening to people in this situation? Why yeah. can't they get through it? Well, I'm sure in part um, they probably don't feel that they can't get through it. Part of the drive is maybe I would be the one that could get through it or maybe they are yeah. the one that could get through it. Um, but there's excitement in danger and that's why we like horror movies and to go through haunted houses. But this is another extreme. So these are true masochists that are in for an adrenaline rush to see if they can get through. And what's scary is that I as a therapist would never sign off on any of my patients or anyone I know. Well, yeah, I thought a joke's a joke, and we've made plenty of them. Trust us, you should have been here during the commercial where we found out. <laughs> that I won't say who, but there's somebody's safe word is um, a pineapple, which is fine. Okay, mine would be lawsuit. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. But, you know, so we were joking around, hey, what you say? And, but you're saying, look, this is, maybe we shouldn't. People could get hurt doing this. Well, maybe part of what is acceptable, um, given the psychological torture, is they know they're doing it for entertainment. They know they are doing it for fun. They know that they have a safe word. But I would never feel okay with inducing this, even for fun, because some of the things that they are doing, and I wrote it down, mm -hmm. um, sensory deprivation can cause bizarre bizarre thoughts, what does that mean exactly? It means when they put you in a dark room, you okay. lose your sense of oh, yourself okay. and what's going on in your surroundings. It creates learned helplessness where you feel like you can't control your environment and get out or free yourself. Um, your self-image is altered because you no longer are in, are in control of your environment. And just some of the things that they make you do, eat vomit and just, oh. you know, um, just hold hey. certain positions for a long time. Pineapple! Right, lawsuit. <laughs> Exactly. Right. right? Um, but uh, but obviously people are enjoying it. There's a long waiting list, and they've covered themselves, as far as I can see. Why are we like this? I mean, you know, you mentioned horror movies, and you know, people do they like to be scared. They yeah. Like to, why? Well, there's an adrenaline rush, risk taking. It's exciting, especially if you know that you're doing it for fun. Listen, if someone I mean, were really abducted. Let me ask you this: I don't like scary movies. Okay. What does that mean about me? Like, um, I'm a, you some, know, what's wrong with? Are me? you a romantic comedy kind of guy? I get. I mean, I guess. <laughs> But is there like something wrong with me that I don't like? No, the, I mean everybody. You could say it. Everybody is designed differently, but there are some people that you clearly really think there's something wrong it, with me. In part because you know that you're safe, but you could be mm -hmm. scared at the same time, and I imagine that's what's oh. going on in this haunted house as well. I like that kind of. So they mm -hmm. made, made myself or made me feel better about myself. That's there, my I was job. like, <laughs> that's what you do <laughs> all day long. I don't know. It's just it's a strange world that we live in. But um, I, I am I'm actually kind of strangely fascinated that no, that, yeah, but maybe someone's been able to get through it. I want to be inaccurate in our reporting on this, but no, apparently nobody can. No, nobody can get me. through it, and in part maybe because people are exhausted. It's an eight-hour process where they're being tortured. That's and, ridiculous. Yeah, you know, a... going through a lot of different ah, processes, which probably nobody can withstand. I'm you pineapple. Just, yeah, ten minutes exactly. in at the most. All right. Exactly. Um, thank you, uh, Dr. Ludwig, for coming in. And, Thanks for uh, having you know. me. Happy uh, Halloween. Exactly. A little, a little bit early. Um,